Submarines are an integral part of the U.S. nuclear triad. Their presence in the U.S. Navy's arsenal acts as a significant deterrent. Elusive, almost imperceptible in both deep waters and in shallow waters, the Virginia-class submarine can cause significant trouble for a potential enemy, which is especially important in times of outright nuclear blackmail on the part of Russia. What exactly serves as the basis of the present and future of the U.S. Navy? Let's talk all about it in today's video. The Virginia-class attack submarine is an advanced, multi-purpose nuclear stealth submarine meant for the deep-sea anti-submarine warfare and shallow water operations. This is the first American war vessel designed entirely with the aid of a computer. The design itself is implemented in three-dimensional electronic drawings of the individual parts, systems, and main components of the model, completely replacing the paper drawings and wooden models of the past. During the vessel's construction, computer-aided design elements are directly linked to production equipment. Virginia-class attack submarines are, in fact, the most important part of the U.S. submarine combat fleet. Their primary tasks are to search for and destroy enemy submarines and surface ships, sometimes with the help of advanced Mark 48 ADC-AP torpedoes, inflicting fire damage on enemy forces concentrated on the coasts and behind enemy lines using UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missiles, transporting Special Operations Forces. SOF, performing surveillance, intelligence, and reconnaissance ISR missions, aiding the actions of varied battle group, and active participation in mine warfare, using Mark 60 capture mines, modern mobile mines, and unmanned underwater vehicles. Submarines of the Virginia class have a displacement of 7,835 tons, a hull length of 377 feet, and a diameter of 34 feet. They're capable of speeds in excess of 25 knots and can dive to depths of over 800 feet. Their crew consists of 132 people, including 15 officers and 117 enlisted personnel. Submarines of this class are constantly undergoing modernization, the stages of which are called blocks. Four of these vessels are currently on combat duty. The 21st submarine of this class, USS Montana SSN 794, was launched on June 25, 2022. Three more units are still planned for deployment and currently being developed. The first 10 Virginia-class Block 1 and Block 2 submarines have 12 separate 21-inch vertical launchers capable of launching Tomahawk land missiles TLAMS. The Block 1 vessels were manufactured using modular construction technologies. Modular construction methods used involve constructing large segments of equipment outside of the enclosure. These segments, so-called rafts, are then inserted into the hull section, a large pressurized hull segment. The integrated raft and hull section form a module, which, when combined with other vehicles, forms a Virginia-class submarine. Block 1 boats consisted of 10 modules, taking approximately 7 years, 84 months, to build each submarine. Block 2 vessels were built in 4 sections instead of 10, saving about $300 million per boat. The Block 2 vessels, with the exception of SSN 778, were built under a multi-year purchase agreement as opposed to the Block Purchase contract from Block 1, resulting in savings of about $400 million, $80 million per boat. The history of the Block 3 modernization begins with the 11th vessel, SSN 784. The order for long-term components began on May 22, 2008. SSN 784, the North Dakota, was the first Virginia-class group of eight Block 3 ships. These ships embody not just the U.S. Navy's, but also the industry's commitment to cut costs without compromising capability through an initiative that includes a multi-year procurement strategy, improved construction methods, and the Design for Affordability DFA program. As part of the project, the Navy redesigned approximately 20% of the ship to reduce acquisition costs. Most of the changes have been made to the nose of the vessel, where the traditional air-assisted sonar sphere was replaced with a water-assisted large aperture bow LAB array, reducing both maintenance and life cycle costs while simultaneously providing improved passive detection capabilities. The new LAB array eliminates hundreds of hull penetrations and replaces the transducers with cheaper lifetime hydrophones. 
The upgrade also included the replacement of 12 separate vertical launch system VLS launch tubes with two 87-inch Virginia payload VPT launch tubes, each capable of launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles. VPTs simplify the design, lower the acquisition costs, and provide more payload flexibility than smaller VLS launchers due to their extra volume nearly doubling the available payload space from 1,200 cubic feet with 12 vertical launch tubes to 2,300 cubic feet. VPTs will also allow Virginia-class ships to deploy a greater variety of payloads. The horseshoe-shaped LAV sonar array replaces the spherical main sonar array that has been used on all U.S. Navy SSNs since 1960. The LAB sonar array is water-based, in contrast to the previous groups of sonars that had air support, and consists of a passive array and a medium-frequency active array. Compared to previous Virginia-class submarines, about 80% of the bow has been redesigned. Block 3 submarines are equipped with new Virginia payload tubes, designed to reduce costs and increase missile firing capabilities. Units 1 through 3 in the Virginia class are scheduled to undergo four depot maintenance readiness reviews and embark on 14 deployments. The South Dakota SSN 790 is powered by the new Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARPA Hybrid Multi Material Rotor HMMR engine. The Hybrid Multi-Material Rotor Program is an attempt to improve the design and manufacturing process of submarine propellers in order to reduce propeller rotor cost and weight, as well as improve overall acoustic performance. This design investment has reduced overall procurement costs and allowed two Virginia-class attack submarines to be built per year starting in 2011. USS Delaware SSN-791 is the latest and final of eight Block 3 Virginia-class submarines, commissioned in April of 2020. The most expensive shipbuilding contract in history was awarded on April 28, 2014, when main contractor General Dynamics Electric Boat took on a 17.6 billion dollar contract for 10 Block 4 Virginia-class vessels. Block 4 submarines SSN 792-801 contain design changes aimed at reducing the overall cost of ownership making these smaller design changes to increase the life cycle of the submarine at the component level, the U.S. Navy will increase the interval between availability of maintenance depots and increase the number of deployments. A key improvement over Block 3 is the reduction in major maintenance periods from 4 to 3, increasing the overall life of each ship by 1. Block 4 will be followed by the Block 5 configuration, which includes 10 boats. Block 5 submarines built from 2019 with an additional payload module VPM will add four more VPTs of the same diameter and higher height located on the center line, which will carry up to seven Tomahawk missiles each, which will bring back some of the opportunities missed after the withdrawal from Ohio-class conversion submarine fleet. Work on the modification will take place in Virginia, Rhode Island, Connecticut, California, Pennsylvania, and Maryland. The construction of the submarines is scheduled to be completed by August 2029. On December 2, 2019, the U.S. Navy announced an order for nine new Virginia-class submarines, eight Block 5 and one Block 4, with a total contract price of $22 billion, with the option for a tenth unit. Block 5 submarines have been confirmed to have increased in length from 377 feet to 460 feet and the displacement from 7,800 tons to 10,200 tons. Lockheed Martin has won a $19.4 million contract modification to implement procurement options for eight multifunctional modular masts for the new Virginia Block 5 class submarine hulls. The Block 5 submarines contain some significant upgrades and changes from the already built Virginia class submarines. Work will take place in New Hampshire and New York. Estimated completion date is September 2023. Two additional future blocks, Blocks 6 and 7, will utilize Block 5 modifications and other future changes. If Russia nevertheless decides to escalate and launch a nuclear strike on Ukraine, then Virginia-class submarines will become a powerful element of a comprehensive military response by U.S. troops, if such a decision is made. 
According to statements repeatedly made by politicians of different levels, Russian forces on the internationally recognized borders of Ukraine would, in such a case, be destroyed, particularly the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation. This is where the combat qualities of these vessels would really come in handy. Virginia-class submarines would strike Russian underwater and surface targets with torpedoes and cruise missiles. The vertical launch system is capable of launching 16 Tomahawk submarine cruise missiles SLCM, in a single volley. The 21-inch torpedo tubes can launch up to 26 Mark 48 ADCAP Mod 6 heavy torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles. It's also highly probable that unmanned surface and underwater vehicles, which will be controlled by submarines of this class, would be involved in these tasks. An amphibious landing is unlikely, the Ukrainian army most likely being the ones engaged in cleaning up the territory themselves, so the Virginia-class submarines wouldn't perform the functions of transporting the Special Operations Forces, but instead focus on adjusting and firing at enemy targets. Well, that's all for today. Will the next blocks of submarines become even more economical, or will the constant cost reduction hurt their efficiency? And what should the US response be in the event of a nuclear escalation by Russia? Share your opinion in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.